Now, so-called drunk tanks could become a regular sight in UK cities if they're shown to keep intoxicated partygoers out of A&E on New Year's Eve. The head of the NHS, Simon Stevens, says he's monitoring the performance of the mobile units, which are meant to provide a safe place for people to sober up and prevent them going to hospital. Our senior correspondent, Ian Woods, reports. Are you going to vomit? Drunk tanks, booze buses, whatever they're dubbed, they're not facilities anyone would choose to be treated in. With cots or mattresses on the ground, at times they look like field hospitals dealing with casualties. But at least they're freeing up places for genuine accidents and emergencies. Around one in eight A&E patients are intoxicated. The figure can rise to almost three quarters of admissions at weekends. The head of NHS England has labelled them selfish. Simon Stevens said, NHS doesn't stand for National Hangover Service, but I've seen firsthand how paramedics and A&Es are being called on to deal with drunk and often aggressive people. He thinks it may be necessary to expand projects like this one in Bristol. The NHS isn't in a position to stop people drinking alcohol continuously. People are entitled to have a good time. Sometimes people push that to the limits. Therefore, we are a profession uh, that cares for people, that looks after, after people and has people's well-being at heart. Therefore, we're providing a service just as we would for any other patients. The mobile facilities are a place where ambulance crews who literally have to pick people up off the streets can take those who are too drunk to be left alone. They can sleep off their stupor until well enough to leave. There have been concerns raised about drunk tanks in terms of they're not getting specialist, these patients aren't getting specialist medical attention. Um, and they can be acutely unwell, they can have seizures, they can have head injuries, there's lots of other things going on. So I think that's part of, they've got to be reviewed and we've got to check to make sure that they're safe and patients are getting the appropriate care um, for, the, for them to be effective. Paramedics and booze buses will be working overtime on New Year's Eve, but Britain's binge drinking culture means this is not just a once a year indulgence, but a part of every Friday and Saturday night for too many people. Ian Woods, Sky News.